Ray just shaved six years off his famous singularity date, and in just 14 years, you might not be entirely human anymore. Uh, my colleague and I who made the bet have actually doubled it. Um, I'm uh, as confident as ever that I don't think really these human bodies are capable of lasting that long, even if we find a way to slow aging. Apparently, Google's top futurist Ray Kurzweil, the man who predicted the internet, smartphones, and AI before anyone else, says by 2039, we'll merge with machines to become something different. Amplify our brain with computers directly, which will happen in the 2030s. That's going to keep growing. It's another whole theme, which is the exponential growth of computing power. And that doesn't mean sending very soft, squishy creatures like humans. Yeah. Intelligence, masses of nanobots, which can then go out and colonize these, these other parts of the universe. Earlier in his 2005 book, The Singularity is Near, he predicted computers would match human brains by 2029, and that by around 2045, we'd merge with computers into a superhuman era he calls the singularity. Even skeptics used to scoff at this, and for the first time ever, even his harshest critics are saying he might be right. So today, we will look into this statement and find out if singularity is actually possible by 2039. Stay with us till the end, as we also have a great news for our subscribers. The Prophet with an 86% success rate When we are talking about Ray Kurzweil, we are talking about the restless genius. This isn't some random guy on Twitter making wild predictions. Ray Kurzweil has an 86% accuracy rate on his tech predictions, as 115 of 147 forecasts came true. Let that sink in. He is called one of the world's leading inventors, with a 30-year track record of accurate predictions. He predicted the internet going mainstream, nailed it. Computers beating chess champions, 1997, check and mate. Wireless technology everywhere. Have a look around you now. AI that could understand speech. Today, we are talking to chatbots more than actual people. Bill Gates calls him the best person I know at predicting the future of AI. It means that when Kurzweil talks, Silicon Valley listens. And here's what should terrify you. He's never been more more confident about a prediction than he is right now. The acceleration nobody saw coming. Back in 2005, Kurzweil said machines would match human intelligence by 2029. Critics laughed. Impossible, they said. Decades away, they claimed. Then, ChatGPT dropped in late 2022. And suddenly, AI wasn't just playing games, it was writing code, creating art, passing bar exams. Wired Magazine, which once called Kurzweil's timeline way too soon, now admits it looks conservative. But do you know that a new meta-analysis of a approximately 8,600 AI forecasts, finds experts now give a 50% chance of human-level AI between 2040 and 2061, far sooner than decades ago. Recently, during the GPT-5 launch, Sam Altman called it a step towards AGI, so maybe we are not that far anyways. Today, finally, we're launching GPT-5. GPT-5 is a major upgrade over GPT-4 and a significant step along our path to AGI. In 2024, Kurzweil doubled down, writing in The Singularity is Nearer that he's still sticking with five years, forecast of AGI by 2029, and expects a million-fold intelligence boost by 2045 via brain nanobots. The timeline isn't just accelerating, it's in freefall. A Gentle Singularity so what exactly is the singularity? Let's understand it with an example. By the late 2030s, Kurzweil says nanobots, robots smaller than blood cells, will swim through your brain, connecting your thoughts directly to the cloud, expanding intelligence a million fold by 2045. Think about that, a million times smarter, overnight. He explained it with an example. Now today, I mean, you have a computer in your phone, but if you need 10,000 computers for a few seconds to do a complex search, you can access that for a second or two in the cloud. In the 2030s, you need some extra neocortex, you'll be able to connect to that in the cloud directly from your brain. So I'm walking along and I say, oh, there's Chris Anderson. Oh, he's coming my way. I better think of something clever to say. I've got three seconds. 
my 300 million modules in my neocortex isn't going to cut it, I need a billion more, I'll be able to access that in the cloud. And our thinking then will be a hybrid of biological and non-biological thinking. But the non-biological portion is subject to my law of accelerating returns. You'll download skills like NEO in the Matrix, learn languages in minutes, access the collective knowledge of humanity with a thought. The difference between you and today's, you would be unfathomable. But here's where it gets weird. OpenAI's Sam Altman says we're already past the event horizon. The singularity isn't coming, it's happening. Right now, you just don't feel it yet. He calls it the gentle singularity. In his blog, he says, we are past the event horizon. The takeoff has started, but in a gradual way. Already in 2025, we've seen AI agents doing real cognitive work like writing code, research, etc. In 2026, systems might start making novel scientific insights. By 2027, some robots may handle physical tasks. These are small shocks, yet daily life won't feel completely alien. Altman notes that in the 2030s, people will still love their families, express creativity, play games, and swim in lakes, just like today. The world won't suddenly look like the Matrix. Instead, as Altman puts it, the singularity goes, wonders become routine, and then table stakes. We're the frog in slowly boiling water. Water, and we don't even know the heat's been turned up. The Resistance I know that some of us aren't buying this. Well, you will be happy to know that you are not alone. Meta's chief AI scientist, Jan LeCun, sharply warns, we're nowhere near reaching human-level intelligence, maybe a decade or two away, even if we're lucky. Other leading thinkers like Jaron Lanier, Steven Pinker, and Paul Allen dispute any runaway AI explosion. As AI veterans Russell and Norvig observe, technologies often follow an S-curve, a fast rise, then a plateau rather than endless exponential growth. They've got a point. Self-driving cars were supposed to be everywhere by now. Nuclear fusion has been 20 years away for 60 years. Technology hits walls. History is full of predictions that fizzled once hard limits or diminishing returns kicked in. Today's AIs still lack common sense reasoning, true understanding of the world, and real empathy. They can hallucinate facts and make mistakes humans wouldn't. But here's what's different this time, money talks, and it's screaming in our faces. McKinsey Project's generative AI could add 2.6 to 4.4 trillion annually to the global economy by the 2040s, a 15 to 40 percent GDP jump. When trillion dollar stakes are on the table, barriers have a way of disappearing. Remember we promise a great news in the beginning? We are offering our subscribers a golden opportunity. We have created a detailed PDF that will educate you on on different LLMs and their use cases. Drop your email using the form at the top of the description to get the PDF for free. You will also get free bonuses, tools, and tricks that will educate and train you about AI and its future. So people of our community are not the AI victims. The World Forward because if Kurzweil's right, your 2039 will look nothing like today. McKinsey says AI could automate 60 to 70% of current work tasks. Compare that to just about 50% in 2017. We're talking about the biggest employment shift since the Industrial Revolution, but compressed into a decade. McKinsey now predicts half of today's work activities could be automated by approximately 2045. That creates a feedback loop. Huge profits and investments fuel more AI research. We'd need massive retraining, new careers, maybe as AI supervisors or creators, and, likely, policy fixes like universal basic income to soften the blow. Kurzweil himself argues for a UBI by the 2030s as traditional jobs fade. Surveys already show public anxiety. 75% of Americans expect AI will reduce the number of jobs in the next decade. Kurzweil predicts will achieve longevity escape velocity velocity by the early 2030s, where science adds more healthy years to your life each year than aging takes away. In his own words, by the late 2030s, we will largely be able to overcome the aging process, in effect, radical life extension. Kurzweil says, the very idea of immortality isn't out of the realm of possibility, 
once we conquer aging. Death becomes optional, but comes to think of it, when nanobots upgrade your brain, are you still you? Or are you version 2.0 of humanity? These are the ethical puzzles we'll need to confront if the singularity is near. Ethically, a 2039 singularity raises hard questions. Privacy and bias issues we're already worrying about would grow even bigger. Think about AI surveillance, deepfakes, and algorithmic bias. So I need to know, are you Team Singularity 2039 or Team Singularity 2045? Let's us know by participating in the poll. You know what the bitter truth is? It's that whether you believe in the singularity or not doesn't matter. It's happening to you, not for you. 55% of Americans already expect human-level AI by the end of the 2030s. The AI train has left the station. The only question is whether you're prepared for the ride. You can watch our video about five scary stages of AI to understand AI advances better. And I also want to know, do Kurzweil's predictions make you excited? excited or nervous.